Hey, what's up guys? Good morning. How we doing? It's actually bright and early Sunday morning. In fact, I'm gonna leave the shades on because man, I'm just waking up. Uh, we haven't had any videos for a couple days because Liz and I were actually in a wedding last week. And so we're in a wedding, we're moving, we're busy. Life has been crazy, but I wanted to put up another fun video for you guys and answer a question that I have been getting a lot, which is a um, question about whether or not you should go legit or when should you go legit? When should you put your business on paper? When should you get insurance? When should you do uh, do things more correctly? The whole deal. And I thought it was a really good question. Um, believe it or not, it's uh, mid-July when I'm shooting this video and a lot of folks are still getting their business started, like mid-season. Whether they're uh, teachers from school that are cutting grass uh, just to supplement, whether you're kids getting out of college or high school, doing the whole deal. There is a lot of people right now getting started with their business. I always get that question a lot too. When's the best time to start a lawn care business? Uh, today, right now, when's the best time to start any business? When's the best time to change your life, your future? Today, so I'm one of those guys, let's just start, man. Don't worry about all the details, let's just get it going. But a well, question I get a lot is, when should you go legit? I wanted to answer that one and just share some really fun analogies for you guys uh, really quick. Let's check it out. Make, make, make the ground shake. So what's up guys, it's Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance, and sorry for the shades, like I said, it's uh, it's super bright this morning, and quite honestly, I'm just waking up, okay, so give me some slack, <laughs> but uh, a question I get a lot is, when should you go legit, and I want to answer this one kind of like uh, in two fashions, how should you get started than what I actually did, okay, uh, the short answer that everybody's looking for, when should I get uh, go legit? as soon as possible. Let's just remember this one and we'll just leave this up here in the corner, as soon as possible. Now, I'm gonna preface it with, when should you go legit correctly? Well, a lot of you guys that watch my videos and I do a lot of coaching calls with our Launchpreneur Academy and uh, you guys have been supporting the launchpreneuracademy.com, it's my training website and we have a whole uh, training course about how to get your lawn care business started correctly. It's like 99 bucks, it's actually really legit. I haven't heard a negative review, a negative complaint, nobody's ever asked for the refund because it's pretty meaty stuff. It's like seven or eight hours worth of content in there to help get you guys up to speed. And where did all that come from? Well, basically, how I got started wrong, how I did my whole business not really wrong, it's just not as correctly, okay? I didn't cross the T's and dot the I's, right? So I wanna share a lot of that info with you guys, and so that's why I make all these kind of videos. Well, when should you go legit? The simple answer is, as soon as possible. Um, here, here's the, the, the litmus, the, the uh, magnifying glass that, the, your tax prep guy, the, the IRS, um, uh, insurance people, here's what their whole, uh, how they understand your business is that if you're conducting a business in a business-like fashion, or if a hobby in a business-like fashion, that's how they're gonna treat you. So if you ever get pulled over by like a police officer and you have uh, vinyl on your trailer or your truck and it says, Bob's landscaping. Well, if you get into an insurance um, claim issue because you got in an accident, they may deny you if you don't have commercial insurance because you're operating your business in a commercial fashion. And I'm gonna tie this all together, so hang tight. When you get audited uh, and you're like, well, all my business expenses are running out of my uh, personal account and I don't have an LLC. Well, technically you're running a, a hobby as a business and so that's a little frowned upon, especially if you start making five, 10, $20,000, okay? Um, so, so what I wanna do is always teach you guys the most conservative advice that I can. And so my attitude is, when should you go legit? Well, to protect your butt and to do things correctly, uh, as soon as possible. Here's the deal, I understand that there's a huge spectrum of folks that watch the channel, right? Um, some of you guys are cutting three lawns on the weekend, it's 30 bucks a cut, 90 bucks a week, and you're just making it extra money to help your kids pay for braces, or you're saving up for a new bike, a new four-wheeler. Uh, some of you guys are, you know, just this is your student loan payment. I get that. Some of you guys are firefighters and you're just making ends meet. That's totally cool, man. Uh, and I And I think in that example, you're fine, I don't think there's really much of an issue, although you probably still should, so you know, don't take my advice, I'm not uh, a professional of uh, IRS or accounting or finance and CPA, right? I think you're fine though, okay? Here's where my issue is that <clears throat> when you're in that awkward hobby middle, because um, I was there for my first year, two years, is that when you have five, 10, 20, $30,000 coming in, uh, especially that five to 15 grand range, that's where it kind of gets murky, okay? Um, my default answer, again, conservative answer is, 
as soon as you can, as soon as you can get commercial insurance, as soon as you can register an LLC, not a DBA, as soon as you can get commercial auto insurance, not your personal insurance. Um, I want to actually share a quick story here with you guys that um, I actually took really awful advice my second year in business. When I was getting started, uh, I actually found a customer, I picked up a customer, and his advice was uh, low key, this is exactly what he told me, and I'll never name names, right? This will go to my grave, but he said, hey, until you're making $100,000 a year, don't claim a thing. He's like, keep everything cash basis, keep everything uh, uh, off the books, off the radar, and don't, uh, don't report a thing. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, totally bro. Like I got you, like that makes sense. I was 20, 21, I was impressionable, I didn't know what I didn't know. And I'm telling you what, I didn't know anything. We did not have YouTube, we did not have lawn site, we did not have forums, we did not have coaches and mentors, right? That's like the buzz thing in the internet nowadays is I can be your coach. I'm a coach, right? <laughs> so it's just, that wasn't even a thing 10 years ago. So here's the deal. Uh, I ended up saying, hey, that sounds cool. A year later, I started putting my business on paper. Well, no, like that year I was already on paper. Uh, my second year business moving forward. My first year, it was so part-time. Uh, a lot of you guys know my story from Long Care Business Success, Julio, uh, episode 89. It's an awesome audio, it's like two hours long. It's a podcast, kind of explaining my story. And most of you guys will kind of relate that I just kind of fell into long care just like a lot of you. It wasn't a really intentional choice. I got laid off from Little Caesars. My unemployment was actually denied. Uh, about three months later, it was found that I was kind of wrongfully fired and I got uh, all that unemployment retro, uh, retroactive, whatever you call it, but I still remember needing five to 700 bucks a month to like support my life. And I just had like a little crappy car, a little crappy car payment, uh, just insurance. And of course I was living at home, I was 20, 21 years old. Um, but I remember like calling all my ex uh, customers when I had my little lawn business from like 10 or 12 years old to about 16 when I went to work for Little Caesars and I said, hey, I'm back in the lawn business, can I cut your grass? 15 bucks and they all said sure honey like we'd love to have you back and so that's what I started doing I started having $200 a week come on in and that helped make ends meet <clears throat> the following year and I've told this story to a lot of you guys because I worked for True Green for the rest of that summer I got a job at True Green awesome company great people but then the following year I came back and the, the cliff notes is they said hey like we already filled your truck we thought you were going full-time in lawn care uh, we don't really have a spot for you and that's when I said all right, I'm all in. I ended up getting a commercial lawnmower, a little trailer from Tractor Supply, which I got that little video, I'll leave it here. It was such a cute little video, my first trailer from Tractor Supply, and it worked great, and I was in business. But um, I did not get an LLC. I got a $15 DBA. Um, I don't know if I really got commercial insurance. I just used my personal insurance. I did not have liability insurance. I did not have workers' comp. I did not have anything my first year in business. I was just under the radar, <clears throat> and we didn't make that much money, but my next year we started making some decent profit. Now, I say all that to say this, is that I'm really glad that I started doing things more legit, and here's why. When I started putting uh, everything on paper, it started to make me become a better business owner. I'll be honest with you guys, it took the pressure off of doing anything illegal, uh, illegit, uh, stealing, not paying taxes, like, Cash on the side is really, really good. But if you start running your business in a business-like fashion, this is the biggest thing I want you to take away from this video, is that if you are running your business in a business-like fashion, you're going to be under the scrutiny of penalties and all this other stuff if you ever do get audited, you ever do get in an insurance uh, situation where you get in an accident and you have to make a claim. So it actually costs you potentially so much risk, so much um, of the upside by not reporting your business legitimately. Like, you know, people paid me cash, I bought things, I never was able to write off deductions right because I couldn't have all these deductions without any business income what I actually came to find out was that well if I just reported my income uh, all of it right and I made all my deductions I was actually in the same boat I was actually just fine in fact it helped me to qualify for uh, renting an apartment new cars new mowers new this new this new stuff um, if you don't claim any of that income you're actually kind of hurting yourself you're potentially hurting your credit your credit score which in the grand scheme of life that's a whole nother story for another time about financial IQ and financial literacy, but at the end of the day, you do need those things to grow your life and grow your business. Now, again, just to reiterate, when should you go legit? 
as soon as possible. Now, if you're cutting again two or three lawns on the side, um, you know, that's totally cool. But I'm just saying is that you're losing so many life lessons. This is my biggest takeaway for me personally is that I became a better person because I understood more so I had to learn insurance. I had to investigate insurance. I had to sit down with insurance people to learn what it all meant. I had to realize that Hey, I've got uh, commercial insurance. It's a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks a year now. How do I actually uh, charge my customers appropriately so there's profit left over, including paying this new expense? It made me actually analyze my business, my numbers, and learn things to make me a better business owner. Um, well, hey, we have workers' comp now. How do I pay my employees? How do I put them on payroll? How do I ten ninety nine somebody? How do I? Uh, all these different conversations started coming up, and it made me a better entrepreneur. It made me a better business person so uh, I've always heard Jim Rohn say and a lot of you guys have said uh, you love Jim Rohn is that um, don't ask for it to be easier ask for you to be better right and so this is what I'm trying to say is that uh, go legit as soon as you can because it's gonna make you such a better entrepreneur uh, with learning your expenses learning your numbers learning accounting and by the way you'll have so much more peace in your life by not being worried about an audit by not being worried about um, you know getting in an insurance uh, situation where you get in an accident and your claim potentially gets denied because low-key you're running a business um, it made me figure out how to get a medical card and go get uh, a physical and went and, and it made me learn about the DOT and what like what qualifications I had for my rig and my setup and it made me learn about GVD uh, WR and gross vehicle weight ratings and and combined weight ratings and it made me study things why do I encourage you guys to potentially run your business more legit is because don't ask for it to be easier ask for you to be better and I like to encourage you guys to be better I like to encourage you guys to put your brain to work and start figuring out how to run a business now I'll tell you what if you do everything all at once you're gonna realize that a lot of your numbers might be low you might realize how do people make profit um, being self-employed is tough and it's all true so those are all lessons that you guys get to learn but for me personally I like to con uh, convey things on a very conservative uh, message to you guys so it helps you guys start businesses correctly now the end of the story is that the guy that gave me this advice about hey don't put anything on paper uh, until you're making a hundred grand a year uh, so on and so forth and he, the long story short is that this guy ended up running uh, two businesses they both were uh, a little illegitimate and this guy ended up going to jail for about 14 months for tax evasion and uh, just I don't really know the whole story all I know is that I didn't see him for about 18 months and I, oh, I was just in contact with his wife as a customer of mine I said hey where's so-and-so where's Bob and she said uh, Bob's just uh, he's not right he's not here right now and then later I find the story out three to six months later from all the neighbors chattering right and I find out that because the way he ran his businesses was illegit it caught up with him and and same thing with one of my insurance agents uh, about a decade ago same thing he ran his operation illegitimate it caught up with him and that's what I don't want to have happen to you guys I don't want any fear any any angst any anxiety about something so simple okay and so that was my analogy when should you go legit as soon as possible what did I do my first year I was under the radar I was low-key uh, we were cutting you know 10 or 15 trailer park lawns uh, it was nothing really that crazy it was just to make ends meet but I realized really quickly in my second year let's get a DBA I should have got an LLC again I didn't know the difference between a DBA and an LLC so what did I do I had to learn about starting my own corporation I had to learn about what's the difference between an LLC or what's a DBA I had to learn about tax law I had to learn about C Corp and S Corp and incorporating right so anyway the lessons you guys are gonna learn by doing things more legit I think is more important to me than just the money you're gonna make although so, let's be honest the reason you start a business is to make profit okay so take both with a grain of salt I think making money is great I think the education and you becoming a better person is, is equally important and as equally uh, vital and so that's why I would say go legit as soon as you can uh, as fast as you can and do things correctly I'll wrap it up with this is that if you guys want some great books and some great resources I did a video just a little week ago it actually um, it's kind of a low-key video uh, I think it's one of the better videos it talks about educating and investing in yourself I gave like my top 20 books and podcasts that can help you guys out with starting a business things that I think are great resources so if you guys want to check that video out I'll leave a card here and I'll also leave the video here at the end for you guys anyways did you guys make some mistakes when you got started 
started? Did you guys do things off the radar? I wish you would have done things more legitimate from the beginning. Do you guys think that, hey, you know what? Screw what Brian says. I run a cash business. I'm going to hustle on the side. I don't really care if they all come after me. Uh, I'm just, you know, uh, a cowboy riding the wild, wild west, right? Let me know. Leave some comments down below. For me, when I went legit, it made my, uh, my anxiety, my stress, my fear all go down. It made me become a better uh, business owner. And for me, that was the, uh, the takeaway. That was the life lesson. And that was what I really got as a reward besides just making money. You know, one thing I'd love to know is that did you guys get started the same way I did where you just kind of started on nights and weekends. It was low key. It was under the radar. Or did you guys get started from day one running your business as legit possible? A separate bank account. You set up an LLC. You already had your EIN, all this other mess. You were on the books. You were doing things correctly. How did it make you guys feel? Were you guys stressed out, freaked out about ever getting audited or caught, right, from whatever that means, from whatever organization or agency? Or were you guys having all your ducks in a row in the beginning? A lot of people do get started correctly. I know I didn't, but again, that's why I have these resources available for you guys so you can start correctly, i.e. thelauntrepreneuracademy.com. But let me know. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts and some comments down below.